Now you have your maze hopefully printing out on the screen and we're ready to pick a starting location. What I have hidden is the actual code where I set the X and Y integer values. You could hard code them in at first, but of course you want random initial values. And I'm gonna go ahead and run this and we'll see maze and we'll try one, two, which is valid. So it'll just stop right there. We'll run it a few times. There's not too many, I have my code set up to not pick anything on the edge. So I believe there's only one invalid location and I'm unlikely to actually hit it. Let's see, eventually we'll hit it. Come on. Well, at least you can see, oh, there we go. So it tried right here, that's a bad location. So I printed out it's a bad location. Somewhere that print save, it's line, my line 51 right here. And I keep repicking as long, and I've already chosen, it's a, I picked an XY value, so while that XY value or YX value is a wall, I need to keep trying different values until I find a XY value that is not a wall, and in that case, I will set it explored, and then I'll call solve maze. And we'll cover solve maze, or the introduction to solve maze in the next video. So this is how you can test the starting location and you keep repicking it randomly until you have a valid location. Now I have a few lines of code hidden. They're line 52 through 56 and I set X and Y to random integer values, but I had that hidden. I use the random object um, and I use the get width and the get height is how I do that. And I just make sure that they're not zero and they're not equal to width and height. They have to be between one and width or height minus one. Uh, so you're not allowed to pick the edge. Uh, so you wouldn't be able to pick any of these right here. All right, so I hope that gets you started on picking your initial position. Once you have that, you're gonna call solve maze. I swapped Y and X the order because I believe the original the maze is written with row and column, and technically row is a y value and column's an x value, so the y and x, the first and second parameters are switched around for maze. Uh, it doesn't really matter as long as you're consistent. I just put the y first and the x second. Uh, that just made it easier for me.